this your boy Johnny. Back in here, one more reaction video, ladies and gentlemen. We got a new one from the homie Dax featuring Tom Soldier. Looking forward to hearing this banger. Subscribe and request. If this is your first time to the channel, get on here, park the wheel, take the shoes off, get comfortable. As I love to say, we are simply spirits in case of human flesh. That's all I promise. Trying to figure out this thing called life. Not nearly as divided nor as demonic as the mainstream media tries to make it seem every single day. And I think we can all agree to everybody in my enjoy some good music. So if you dig what you hear from the homies and myself, do me a favor and share it far and wide. Reporting live from Kansas City, Missouri. Let's get it. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. Don't know me. Going to war in your brain when depression is staring you right in the face and anxiety is grabbing you, making you shape. But there's people depending on you to be great, so you hide all the feelings and push them away. It's not hard trying to mix it all with the pain. I'm drinking the cool off and it's all in my veins. I'm making these new songs from going to restrain. I'm grabbing the salt off and going to cock it and aim at these nuanced and fluanced and people who shame. The role that a man has to play as a husband, a father, a brother, a son to a servant, protecting his family's name. They laugh in your face when you try to explain or express. Then tell you they love you without any loyalty, patience, or face and respect. Then expect you to smile every day while I teach you. Your mind and your soul get flesh and you work and you wither away from the day that you can't and you're broken and nothing is left in your world and you can't even hold you. Hey, I like this a lot. Um, shout out to all the men in the world just trying to be the best version of yourself. You know, there is no playbook to be a good husband, to be a good father, none of that. It's all trial and error. So shout out to everybody who's making mistakes and learning from them. Uh, I'm a lot better of a husband in year seven than I was in year one. I'm a lot better of a father now in year 15 than I was year one. Um, so keep growing, keep shining. The sky is the limit. And Romans 831, if God is for us, fellas, it don't matter what propaganda in this world is against us. God wins in the end. Stand tall, my guys. We're in this thing called life together. I gotta pause it right there because the world really tried to divide us like crazy over our skin color. And if you live in America, you start off as a little baby and then you get to high school age. And then if you, you black, they tell you, oh, you're gonna get killed by the cops. Or you have a baby with a woman and she say, you ain't shit. And tell your kid, don't be like your daddy. And you white and they start telling you, you're a white supremacist. We get hit with so many labels before we find out who we are truly. So to all my men, um, journal, meditate, Get inside that Bible, because um, don't let this world define you. You know what you love to do. You know what's important to you, and you know the gift that God put inside your heart. So walk in that light every single day, because as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Think big, dream big. <laughs> Job is to feed these kids. Be strong, keep feelings within. I oh, promise I'll protect loves the weaker man. And what he got him at is what he gives, and when he gives it all, then it's still ain't enough that he's the one to blame, and no one gives a shit. Never leave a man behind. We all crack and break within the hands of time. I gotta act yeah. grind. With anybody trying to identify as a guy, if their chromosomes ain't X Y, you would never understand what it's like for a man. Gotta fight with your hands, wanna cry, but you can if it's right for the fam. You will tighten your pants, provide a romance, you would die where you stand. Gotta be the bigger man when there's problems. Get judged by the money in your wallet. It's our fault. Let's be honest. We built a world that labeled us. We built the world that labels us toxic. Ain't that like the wildest thing in the world when you stop and think about it? <laughs> you really, I was just talking to my daddy yesterday and he finally saw the light uh, and realized that the media was propaganda. And when I told him, I said, Daddy, the way the media did Trump, that's how my mama did you my whole life. She said, you ain't shit and you a liar and you wrong and you crazy. And I said, daddy, how many times did mama put you in jail for nothing? And he said a lot. And I said, exactly. And there's a lot of men in this world who go through ridiculous situations, can't see their kids, get hit with child support, all kind of lies about them. 
my mama used to call the police, get my daddy put in jail, and then sit around listening to Mary J. Blige crying in the damn house. Swear on my soul. <laughs> so, man, shout out to all my guys in this thing called life, trying to grow, trying to thrive, trying to make it. Job is to feed these kids. Be strong, keep feelings within. My papa oh, taught me to up. protect the weaker man. And what he got him at is what he gives. And when he gives it all, then it still ain't enough. That he's the one to blame, and no one gives a shit. Never leave a man behind. We all crack and break within the hands of time. I got an axe to grind. With anybody trying to identify as a guy, if their chromosomes ain't X, Y, you would never understand what it's like for a man. Gotta fight with your hands, wanna cry, but you can't. If it's right for the fam, you will tighten your pants. Provide a romance, you would die where you stand. Gotta be a bigger man when it's positive. Keep going. Get judged by the money in your wallet. It's our fault, let's be honest. We build a world that labeled us toxic. We gotta lead and teach and keep the peace and fight the fires and be police. When a man gets tired, he don't lay down to sleep. He take all the heat, don't complain over trees. It's a cold world and it's hard times, and our children inherit the land. If you think that being a boy is just picking a pronoun, you should try being a dad. You can build all the houses and fix all the cars and work till you're breaking your back. Hey, I like this, man. This is so dope. Something else to cross my mind, right? Like, I was in Wisconsin uh, chilling with Eric Hubdy. He lost his race, but shout out to the homie. And a big criticism of him is that his money isn't his because his father left it to him. Uh, a criticism that you hear about Trump is that his money, his father gave him a loan. And the Bible said, it says a good man stores up riches for his children's children. Like what's wrong with your father wanting his son to to have something step into? I don't hear no nobody saying anything on, on about LeBron James who got Bronny in the NBA who damn well know he should still be playing D2 or D3 basketball. And it, it has to be so uncomfortable having his father force him into that spotlight. Yeah, you let a, a white man have a father. Like watch the criticism that Baron Trump gets in 25 years, dog. Guarantee it. That's not Baron's money. He got it from drop. It's going to. You see through the narrative now. So all the fathers in the world, man, shout out to you for raising soldiers in this world that's trying to break them. For the hardest job in the world, being a man. I'm a soldier. Let's go. I gotta pause it again, man. Shout out to all the men in the world that's hiding their trauma, fighting their demons every day, getting up, going to work with a smile on their face. You would never look at me and know that I got two dead children, dog, buried a row apart from each other. Jay Sean is in this row, Johnny Jr. is in that row. And I used to drive out to the cemetery a lot and I would sit there and I'd cry. But now I understand, man, I, I learned some valuable lessons from the passing of these children and this thing called life is real. And that's why I'm such a great father to my children that are living and to anyone who watches my video, man, I want you to know the greatness inside of you. You may not be Dax, cause Dax is nice. You may not be Tom, but you know what you love to do and you know what's important to you. Don't die with your music inside of you. Your art will outlive you. We can still go listen to Nipsey. We can still go listen to Elvis. We can still watch Kobe score 81. So start today, if you ain't started, give your art to the world and just to watch the many, many ways that God blesses you. Yes, I'm talking directly to you, wherever you are in this world, watching this video, shine your light, gang. Everybody, while well, I'm being shattered and all of my bones, take on the pressure of being the hero who saves but has no one to help with his own. Demons inside that try to eat him alive. I'm going insane and when I'm out of my mind, I look at the stars and talk to God in the sky. I wait on his words, but I don't get a reply. I try to refrain from diving deep so I hold back tears that try to come out my eyes. And this world is a man where we know we can't cry because the people we love look at us to confide. So I'm silently screaming for help. Life is a battle inside of these trenches, especially when fighting it all by yourself. PTSD from the memories, people who left you for dead and then drug you through hell, leaving you shot deep inside. Of a shell with stories you hate, but nobody to tell. Why you question God if you saw me? Shout out to um, all our military um, men and women.
Uh, definitely thoughts and prayers to the families of those individuals that lost their life in Afghanistan. Um, hopefully we can get into these wars and we can not have uh, any American troops have to go fight. Because it's uh, life is a precious gift, dog. Like life is, is truly, truly, truly precious. And it's easy to overlook that and not pay attention to it. Getting caught up in the propaganda of the world. Um, but to anybody who's lost somebody super close to them, like my mama dead, dog. The fact that I can't ever talk to my mama again, it's not crazy that scene. Like that I never hear my mama say my, my name again. That I never like look at my phone. I, it's, it's wild because I, I kind of feel like I'm a seer again. It's like, where the hell you been at? Let me tell you about this. Let me tell you about that. So I'm in value to people around you. Um, we live in an extremely materialistic society, but if you got somebody that loves the spirit inside of the body, then you are blessed. And if you did not come from a strong family, do everything and your power to make sure a strong family comes from you. It's a lot of men who get you know, hit with divorce. And like I said, can't see their children get hit with a lot of things. But hopefully, uh, as the Bible said, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. So hopefully you can find a good thing in this thing called life. Uh, shout out to Tom and Dex, man. They always got some some bangers when they collab. I, I, I wish I had a, a change.org petition for a full mixtape because propaganda, that came out a while back. My sons really dig that uh, monster and bug. Uh, but JJ, he, he get with it too, you know, so. Put your kids, like Malcolm X said, teach your kids early what you learn late because this world wants to take advantage of, of every broken person that they can. And it ain't, it, it, yes, it is about making you um, financially broke, but it's more about making you spiritually broke, having no connection to, to the light and, and accepting the low vibrational, dark, demonic content. But we ain't doing it. It's the great divide. You either vibrating low or you vibrating high. And we, nothing can stop me. I'm on the way up. <laughs> and it's going to keep getting better and better and better and better and better. Um, so abundance is on the way, blessings are on the way. Think big, dream big. Uh, actually, read The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwartz. Fantastic book. Um, the Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Waddles. The Science of Being Great by Wallace D. Waddles. Nietzsche and the Nazis by Stephen Hicks. Uh, Self-Reliance by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Um, Thoughts or Things by Prentice Mulford. Um, just, I'm always reading something. I'm always trying to enlighten myself or enhance myself in, in one, some way or another. And I want to encourage you, not in, not influence, because that's lame, but I want to encourage you, um, the same greatness that's inside of Tom Brady and Michael Jordan and, and Tiger Woods, it's inside of you as well, man. Shine your light and just watch what happens. We outie, baby. I love you all. Peace.